what are the options for taking it? Is it liquid? drops. So methylene blue does come in different flavors in the sense of how it's going to be delivered to you. The most common way is actually in liquid, but the problem with liquids in general is that they're very difficult to dose. You don't really understand how much you're getting per drop. And I've gotten asked so many times over the last couple months, I'm taking X amounts of drops. How much am I taking? And I always answer, I have no clue. And the problem with, with liquid in general is that we tested most of the liquids out there. None of them meet the label claim. So they say it's 10 drops per ml or whatever they're saying. Um, oftentimes, they're about 80% or less of what they say on the label claim. So you're getting weaker methylene blue in general in liquid. And liquid also deteriorates faster. So I do not recommend liquid for that reason. I do know some people like liquid, and that's fine. But in general, you just don't really know what you're getting. And over the years, we've had people transition from their liquids to our trochies, which we developed, because a troche is fantastic. It's easy to be precision dosed. You can take a quarter, a half, or full. You know exactly how much you're getting every single time. And pound for pound, four milligrams of methylene blue from us is going to feel very different than four milligrams of liquid because ours is going to be actually four milligrams in dose. So yes, you can get in liquid. I do not recommend it just because you don't really understand the potency. The other piece of it that I didn't mention that's important too is that most of the liquids we tested also did have some heavy metal contamination. So the thing about methylene blue, even if it's a USP, which is actually pharmaceutical grade overall, you can still get heavy metals in there. And you just don't know what you're getting if you buy things on Amazon and things like that. So in general, you want to go with clean methylene blue that's not contaminated with heavy metals like cadmium, mercury, arsenic, and lead, or at least very, very low amounts of those. And so if you're going to buy methylene blue, make sure you get the certificate analysis from the company, and we have ours at transcriptions available anytime. Mm -hmm.